We call him the captain of the goofy ship. Why? Um, I'm the voice of reason here. Huh? Well, there you go. He has a sign. It's goofy time. The goofies of the week. <laughs> Appreciate it, Byron. This is the Goofies of the Week. I'm Prevante Hurt. And uh, this is this great this great section that's growing and growing has sponsored by the Flex Zone. Appreciate you guys for giving me a little bit of time to tell you how I feel about the Goofies of the Week. Um, number one, um, you you guys already know like I, I like to start off green than red. Um, this one, this first one could arguably be red, but I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it green for the first one and we'll eventually get build up to red. Um Draymond Green and Tristan Thompson. Um, so okay, so it was a uh, after the ESPYS awards. Uh, LeBron LeBron James was hosting hosting a party, you know, and um, we already know there's bad obviously there's bad blood between the Warriors and the Cavs players right now, and you know, Draymond Green is not the easiest person to get along with. I don't know exactly what he said, but he said enough for Tristan Thompson to two piece him. Boop boop. Easy, easily, Draymond Green is obviously, obviously very, very upset about it. But I'm sure whatever he said, it, 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 it he had it coming. I'm sure he had it coming, one way or another. Um, but I think the biggest, the goofiest thing about this is, it wasn't your party. <laughs> this was LeBron James and Kevin Durant and LeBron James, <laughs> of all people, had to break both of y'all up because y'all was being goofy. And do you know what LeBron did after that? He left. It's so bad. LeBron James left his own shindig. Like, this is crazy. How do you get... Goofy. Goofy. Pushing red, but I'm going to leave it green. Draymond Green, get it together. Everybody knows you're not about that life. Stop it. You sure? I mean, he, for you to leave your own party, I'm, I may have to throw you. I may have to give you a red. Hey, but listen, LeBron knows. That's why LeBron is up here and he's somewhere down here because LeBron understands, like, I can't be around his goofiness. I'm out. Even if my neighbor's on, I can't, I can't, I'm not going to be here for it. You sure they couldn't do a Martin? Did they get the step? Probably couldn't. That's for So, number two. Um, definitely going red. Definitely going red here. Um, EA Sports and Madden um, censored Colin Kaepernick's name. Um, so a little backstory. Um, YG has a has a record out with Big Sean, um, Big Bank. Um, Big Sean has a verse on on the track, and he says Colin Kaepernick's name. It's censored, as if it was a curse word, as if it was a bad name, as if it was not supposed to be. My thing is, what makes this goofy is, you picked the song. <laughs> EA Sports, you this is, you did this. You picked the song. You knew the lyrics. You knew how the song flowed, and and it was on the soundtrack. This is your fault. You can't censor the man's what? YG definitely had issues. Big Sean definitely had issues, and obviously Colin Kaepernick, who didn't have to say much, because everybody pretty much came to his defense like this is goofy. Why? EA Sports, Madden. I'm just sales sales may drop a little bit for this one, cause y'all are extra extra goofy for this one. Yeah, get, sports not in the game. Not in the game at all. Get it together. They still treating Colin Kaepernick like he's a, uh, I don't know, like he did something wrong or he did something bad. I don't get it. Definitely goofy. But this one. But this one. D's laughing because he. I, I think you all know what's coming. Don't know. Dump. Agent zero. Agent I was say Agent zero. Not Gilbert Arenas. No. Agent Orange. Had some uh. Uh, disheartening uh, tweets in uh, reference to uh, LeBron James. We just we just got finished talking about the brother. Um, I'm going to quote. <laughs> Once again, our president of the United States is tweeting. Okay, <laughs> LeBron James was just interviewed by the dumbest man on television, Don Lemon. He made LeBron look smart, which isn't easy to do. I like Mike. I bet you do like <sighs> And what makes this extra goofy is that Mike came out with a statement right afterwards supporting LeBron James. I want now is he gonna come up with something about Michael Jordan? I feel like you have too much time on your hands. Where's my? It's the green one. You have too much time on your hands to be tweeting, and you just got you just recently got some more some, some more goofy stuff. But we are gonna keep it sports related here. Do not badmouth LeBron James. <laughs> Not right. You can't badmouth him 
off the court. You can't badmouth him on the court, honestly, because the man's doing big things for his community. I feel like everything that's related to black excellence, he's going to find a way to tear it down. And I'm, I'm so glad Mike immediately put out this statement saying, I agree with him. Ain't no one else is goofy. His wife is in support of LeBron James, I too. Wow. Your girl. <laughs> your girl. Your woman is in support of his brother. Yeah, I mean, I think you're just reaching. You're just all time reaching at this point. Just, I got, I got something for you, Donald Dump. Here we go, right here. Old Code Forty Five, whatever y'all want to call him. Just goofy, goofy, goofy. So let's recap real quick. Um, we have O Forty Five. We have EA Sports slash Madden, and <laughs> Draymond Green and Tristan Thompson. Hmm. Y'all are definitely my goofiest little week. And Byron, you know, got the guy got, got the one line for you. There's a thin line between goofy and great. And all three of y'all on the wrong end of it. Get it together. Greens and rates for everybody. 